This week on the Austin Healy Channel, it's all about Cornet Cream. It's a big box. Guess what's inside? Oh, it's very exciting. I've already told you what I'm waiting for. It's paint, all the way from Poland. There's a long story behind that. Uh, I had gotten a paint code a long time ago from, um, oh, I can't think of his name. Uh, from somebody online, from uh, one of the forums. And um, I went, great, you know, I got the paint code. It'll, it'll be a nice match. They had matched it, blah, blah, blah. Um, turned out to be a paint code, well, I thought it was for Sickens Paint, but it was actually Utech, which is um, a similar company. They're owned by the same company, but uh, paint codes were wrong. I could get Sickens here, but I couldn't get Utech. Um, there's no cross-reference between them either. So I ended up not having a paint code. I already sandblasted most of my good paint samples off. So I went, damn, what am I gonna do? So what I ended up doing is uh, going through several brands and I fi finally, several brands of paint, and I finally found a brand that had um, nearly a complete listing for Austin Healy's. Um, at least every color that I've ever heard of, from Florida green to British racing green to Colorado red, you know, all of those, uh, including Coronet Cream. So, great, all I have to do is find a dealer. Found a couple dealers, they said, oh no, we don't mix that paint. Um, you can order all the individual components and mix it yourself. Oh, well, I looked into that. It was incredibly expensive, and the waste I would have had was huge. So, I didn't want to do that. So, uh, next step, what do I do? Um, well, my, my wife was watching me the whole time, going, meh. Uh, she got on the, uh, the internet with the, the paint brand uh, Glazerit, which was the one I found with all these paint codes. Uh, Glazerit is, a, I think it's Austrian or German, I can't remember, but uh, so they're European. My wife got uh, searching for Polish shops that had it and called one up and said, oh, you need to talk to this other person in the shop. Called them up. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Um, she told them the code and uh, they ended up being incredibly helpful. Um, so uh, shout out to them. Here's a link if, if you need the paint in Europe. Uh, they ended up uh, shipping it, which was a whole nother step because you know it's flammable goods and being transported all across Europe. Uh, but they found a company that was uh, uh, the, the price was pretty good and uh, it was delivered last night at 11, 11.30 p.m. Which was kind of strange, but okay. So I stayed up with my son watching Doctor Who until it showed up. So, um, yeah, so, so now I got the paint. Um, we're gonna unbox it, see what's inside. Um, I'm gonna test uh, check out the color. I have a, a spot on the, the, the new engine mount that still has some original paint on it. We're going to see how close the paint is. And most importantly, we're going to finally put some primer on this bare metal that's uh, my inner body. Well, not my inner body, the car inner body. So uh, I'm going to use a respirator to keep the paint off of my inner body. So uh, let's unpack and get started. Oh boy, so what all do we got here? What do we have? Let's start at the base. Now these are all the products that you recommended. I had, um, I had originally specified all Glazerite products. They said, eh, nobody does that. Here's what we recommend. So they rec recommended Mobby Hill um, direct to metal primer. 
Um, we've got hardener for that. Next, we have this one, which is the color, which um, has been mixed to, to my specifications. And that um, gets finished off with a top coat, which is also, which is Blazarit, uh, a clear coat. So, uh, so it's a, th a three-step process. Primer, base color, clear coat. It's technically called a two-stage, two-stage paint. Right, good stuff. That looks about right. So there's this little section of paint here that's underneath the uh, shock absorber. We're just gonna take a bit of this paint and put it on there and see how close we are to matching. Damn, it looks good. That's nice. I don't know if you can tell that on, on the camera or not, but uh, the color looks very, very close. Very Now that it's primed, it's time to do some seam sealer. So we have three main tools we need for this. We need the seam sealer itself and a caulking gun, a roll of toilet paper, and a finger. This is just like caulking a, a bathroom. Um, basically, like right in here, you see, this would hold water. Um, water gets in there, it will, it will seep way deep underneath. And I, I know it's not painted under there because it was welded, you know, it came from the factory like that. Um, so I know I need to protect that. And just painting over it's not going to be enough. So um, smear this in there, water won't be able to get in, and then your floor pans won't rust out so quick. Toilet papers for wiping your finger and wiping other stuff. This week's been all about paint, so that makes it this week's say what? I know you're going paint, we all know what paint is, it's paint. Well, it, in the automotive industry, it gets a little more confusing than that. There's a lot of terminology, 
and a lot of different products. So let's go through it and talk about what some of the things are. Let's start with the base coat, the primer. Primer can be broken down into three main categories. You can have an epoxy primer, a etching primer, or, and finally a filler prim, uh, fill, filling primer. So the epoxy primer is good for uh, corrosion or to create a, um, a separation layer it, uh, between different products. I've tried it on season one, I, I was not happy with it, so I didn't do it on this one. We've gone with um, a direct to metal. When you're, when you're spraying metal uh, primer you, uh, directly on metal, you have to either have an etching primer or a direct to, to, direct to metal primer. And that's what we used, a direct to metal primer. Um, it's a, a 2K primer, which means it's a two component, even though component isn't spelled with a K. I am. 2K primer. So uh, you mix the primer with a hardener to get, uh, to get the, the product ready to spray. Sometimes you add a reducer as well, which thins it out a little bit. Reducer, thinner, same sort of thing. So um, you spray that on, let it harden. Um, then we went through and did this, the seam sealer. And next, we uh, go to the next level, and that's the color layer. On season one, we used a, a, an acrylic enamel paint that was a one-stage paint, meaning you spray it on, it hardens, it glosses, and you're done. Technically, it was a 2K one-stage paint. <laughs> Crazy. So um, the the paint store couldn't didn't have that line of paint in the the for for this for this color uh, because they supply auto body shops and auto body shops are, are moving away from that into um, the two stage two phase paint where you you spray a color coat and then you spray a clear coat on top of it. I've not done that before, so this was a new process for me. The color um, it came already reduced, ready to go, uh, um, pour it into the gun and go. There's no hardener that was added to it. You spray it on, it flashes off really fast. And then uh, you need to spray the clear coat on top of it rather quickly. You can't wait for weeks. It's a wet on wet application. So, um, so then while it's wet, the, it interacts and sticks together molecularly really, really well. Um, the clear coat is also a 2K. So you spray on, um, uh, you, you mix together the, the clear, a hardener, and usually some, some redu reducer or thinner as well to get it to come out really nice. Um, yeah, being my first time spraying with uh, with this method, it has pros and cons. I can see how it will be really good on the outer body. Um, when you're spraying just a fender or a wing, and uh, you know you don't have an entire 3D puzzle to, to go around going, is that shiny? Is that not shiny? <laughs> have I hit that with clear yet? In the end, uh, I'm very happy with, with it. Um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot how the, the products work, how they flow out, how they come out of the gun. So when I do get to the outer body, I'll have at least some practice. So, um, so that's paint. Um, it's a lot of terminology, a lot of uh, even switching from one brand to the other. Some, some use reducer, some use uh, thinner. It means the same thing, but you know they call it something different. Um, hardener and activator are also the same thing. So it's, it can be a bit confusing if you switch between one brand or the other. But um, it, in generally, they, in general, they mix up all the same way. And uh, you spray it on your car. It keeps it from rusting. It changes the color, and it makes it look good.
If you want to come along on the ride as we complete this project, click the subscribe button. If you want YouTube to tell you every time there's a new video, click the alarm bell. Thanks for watching, and your support is very much appreciated.